The most romantic love story is about Elsa and Jack Frost. Will they be together? Let's DIY paper dolls and make our own fairy tale in this new Lollaloo video! This story is about two beautiful characters who have cold magic. And DIYing them is pretty easy if you use our tips. We sketch out Elsa on a sheet of white cardboard with a regular pencil. You can download our sketches from the link in the description below. Carefully trace the drawing along the contour with a gel pen. Start with a hairstyle and a face. It turns out cute, doesn't it? Move on to the neck and the body. The arms and the leg will consist of two pieces so our doll can move. Take colored pencils and shade Elsa's hair yellow. She's a natural blonde! Define shades with brown and add volume to the hair. Shade the face and the body with a beige pencil. Add some blush and shade the lips with a red pencil. Add some dimension to the face. Define the eyelids and the shade on the neck. Elsa's eyes are as blue as her icy magic. Now add shades on the arms and define fingers. Do the same on the legs. Decorate the eyelids with glitter glue and add silver sparkly glitter to the hair. Now take scissors and cut the doll out. Trace a part of the body on a sheet of blue foam paper and cut out a bodysuit. Use hot glue to join the pieces. Decorate the piece with frost. Apply white glue. Sprinkle on some glitter and shake off the excess. Very little is left to do. <laughs> Poke holes at the elbows with an awl. Press on a brass fastener and attach it. Now fasten the arms to the shoulders. Connect the legs to the body and add on the rest. Now our doll is almost alive. We just have to coat the fasteners with beige acrylic paint. Now they are almost invisible. Our icy princess turns out to be a real beauty. We decided not to leave her alone. Trace a drawing of Jack Frost with a gel ink pen. Start with the hair and the face. Oh, Jack has very nice features. Move on to the clothes, arm, and leg pieces. Shade the hair with a regular pencil. Make the face and the body beige. Did you notice that Jack has blue eyes just like Elsa? Color the lips and now we make the face look dimensional. Add shade under the hair, eyelids, and neck. Now the arms. Whoops! I got so carried away, I didn't notice that the pencil became blunt. Now that's a whole different story. A sharp pencil is way easier to draw with. Finish coloring the arms and the legs. Let's make Jack's hair nicer. Apply white glue to the hair and sprinkle it with glitter. Cut the doll out with scissors. Now we just have to dress our Jack. Trace the doll along with arm pieces on blue foam paper with a pen as our guy will be wearing a hoodie with sleeves. Cut out a hole for a hood and the neck. Separately trace and cut out a hood. We'll also make the pocket at the front 3D. Trace details of legs and pants on brown foam paper. Make it slightly lower than the knee and cut out a torn edge. Glue the clothes to the base. Add the hood and the pocket on top. Separately glue the sleeves to each detail. Do the same with the pants. And now you can easily attach everything together with brass fasteners. Yay! Our Jack Frost turned out very movable. Just the way a teenage boy is supposed to be. Cover the fasteners on the knees with brown acrylic paint. Apply white glue as icy drippings. Sprinkle them with glitter and blow off the excess. Don't forget about the sleeves and the pocket. Now decorate the pants with a golden wired ribbon. Cut a lot of strips of different length and glue them on shaping laces. Jack Frost has been looking forward to meeting Elsa for so long! We hope this time it will happen! Let's make a fancy dress for our princess. Trace the silhouette on white cardboard and draw the shape you need. Sketch out a neckline and the bottom. Flaps are a must! 
This way, it will stick to the doll. Place white foam paper and trace the contour without flaps on it. Slightly gather a piece of white tulle and attach it to the back of the dress. Apply some white glue to the tulle and sprinkle it with blue glitter. Also decorate the dress with blue and silver glitter. Apply a few dots of hot glue to the inside of the corset and attach the tulle train. Humph! Something is missing! Snap! There you go! Our dress looks marvelous with rhinestones! And what if Elsa wants to change her hair? Let's make some options for her! Trace the head and the shoulders on white cardboard. Draw long hair. Define the hair with a gel ink pen. Color it with a light pencil. Add some shade and definition with a darker color. Decorate it as we did before, using white glue and silver glitter. Add a few fasteners on the sides and cut it out. This hairstyle really suits Elsa! And Jack will need his magic stick! Draw an outline on white cardboard. Trace with a black pen and carefully cut it out. Take a sheet of textured brown foam paper so it looks like wood and trace the stick on it. Squeeze out some white glue. Spread it over with a brush and join to the cardboard base. Apply some glue to the textured side of the foam paper and sprinkle it with silver glitter. Our magic stick is done! What nice weather! Snow is everywhere around! The moon always shows Jack the right way! Wind! Carry me! Let's DIY another outfit for Elsa! Trace the silhouette of the princess on a sheet of white cardboard and draw a long dress. Don't forget to add fasteners and you can cut it out. Carefully trace the dress on pink foam paper without fasteners. Now that the dress is cut out, we just have to decorate it. Take silver glitter glue and apply it to some spots using a brush. Attach mini rhinestones while you're at it. We got a stunning evening gown! Time to take care of the shoes! Trace the feet on a sheet of cardboard and draw boots with fasteners. Use blue foam paper. Make the same details. Cut out and glue them on top. Decorate with glitter glue. For the new wig, we need to trace the head, define the face, and draw hair. Add fasteners and define separate strands with a pen. Color the hair to be blonde and add shade with a brown pencil. White glue and glitter will help us out with decor again. Glue rhinestones to the center, creating a sparkly tiara. Elsa is glowing in her new outfit! It's hard not to fall in love with this beauty! Now Elsa can take walks wearing any outfit and show her magic to the world! Look how fast she can change her look! Hello, Nock! Carry me to my destiny! We just have to make a cape for Jack. Bend the edge of a piece of thick brown felt. The shorter part will be at the front and the cape will be at the back. Cut out a neckline. Now place the felt back and mark the width of the cape and the joint. Cut out the pieces. Hot glue the cape at the sides. Add some icy patterns with glitter glue. And the last detail! Take a satin ribbon and tie a knot. Hot glued in the middle of the cape. Done! Jack goes to the kingdom of ice and cold to find Elsa. Where am I? What is this forest? Did the magic work right? What if she's not here? He was worrying. Suddenly, he hears hooves. My dear horse, where are we? Huh? That's a magical forest! Jack was very worried he would scare the princess. Is there anybody here? Who is this? Elsa? Who intruded into my property? I see you! Jack? I came to take you away from this cold forever! You don't need to hide anymore! We can be together! 
Oh, what was that? It's all right, honey. That was the destiny spark. When two hearts meet, a spark of infinite love flies between them. Oh, Jack, and now find your destiny. Just don't peep. Where are you going, Elsa? Peekaboo! <laughs> Jack quickly finds Elsa. Now they are together forever because this is true and pure love. And then he picks her up and they do the dance of eternal ice and love. Jack, we can even go where the world ends. Here they are in the amazing world. Bye, Nook. You are a loyal friend. Oh, Elsa, our worlds have always been so close. You're right, Jack. And now is the time we were meant to meet. Elsa, let's go on a date. This is very cute, but we need to change our outfits. Ooh, now that's way better. <laughs> Did you like our fairy tale? Hit the thumbs up, DIY paper dolls, and create your own fairy tale. Subscribe to our channel, Lalalu, and don't miss the most interesting and creative DIYs in our new videos.